totality of the soul. The Bible gives us definite and clear answers to the following questions that surely occupy the mind of every thinking being. Do humans possess an immortal soul that leaves the body at death? Are the dead alive and conscious? Can they hear and speak? Is it possible for the dead to communicate with the living? Already in the first book of the Bible, we find the answer to the first and so very important question. In Genesis 2 verse 7, we read, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Please note, God did not place an immortal soul into the body of man. He became a living soul or living person. Perhaps a simple equation can describe the process. Dust, body, plus the breath of life equals a living soul or person. We can illustrate this phenomenon with what happens with a light bulb. By itself, it cannot give light. It needs to be connected to an electric current. Light bulb plus electricity equals light. In the same way, the dust from which we are all shaped does not have life in itself unless it is connected with the source of life, God's breath or spirit. At death, the creation process is reversed. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 7. All the while my breath is in me, and the spirit of God is in my nostrils. Job 27 verse 3. Thus the spirit is the breath of life. Breath and spirit are synonymous. At death this life-giving force of God goes back to him. The following equation describes the process of dying. Dust, the body, minus breath of life equals a corpse, a dead soul or person. Nowhere in the Bible do we find that man has an immortal soul or that the spirit is conscious. The wise Solomon wrote, for the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything, neither have they any more a reward. For the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more a, re a, more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge or wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 5, 6, and 10.